Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read If You Were a Pronoun. We talk about pronouns in my class and we talk about them as taking the place of a noun. They're kind of like a noun in disguise almost. So while we're reading this book, if you're looking for pronouns, you'll see all the big colorful words are pronouns in the book, all right? And you'll see what a pronoun does after reading this. If you were a pronoun, you could throw a party. You would invite him and her and them and us. You would invite everybody. Come one, come all, you would say. We will have a terrific time. So do you see all these bold words? They are all pronouns. They're taking the place of a noun. If you were a pronoun, you would replace nouns and take the repetition out of sentences without pronouns. Jesse put Jesse's backpack in Jesse's locker, then Jesse went to talk to Jesse's friends. With pronouns, Jesse put her backpack in her locker, then she went to talk to her friends. Doesn't that sound better? If you were a pronoun, you could take the place of more than one person or thing. Carol, Bruce, and I earned a pizza party for the entire class. We earned a pizza party for the entire class. Frank and Dylan each ate three slices of pizza. They each ate three slices of pizza. Do you see how it takes the place of the nouns? If you were a pronoun, you could take the place of a person or a person's name. You would be a personal pronoun. Mrs. Jones handed out the tests. She handed out the tests. Brian was nervous for the test. He was nervous for the test. If you were a pronoun, you could be possessive. You would let people know that something belongs to someone or something. Sharky lost some of his teeth. Our playground equipment needs to be cleaned. If you were a pronoun, you could tell about people and things without being specific. You would be an indefinite pronoun. Everyone get ready to march. Did I forget something? I don't want to trip over anything. Somebody lost some sheet music. Other common indefinite pronouns include someone, all, anyone, no one, any, everybody, none, several, some, both, neither, nobody, nothing, and many. Oh, that's a lot of pronouns. If you were a pronoun, you could ask questions. You would be an interrogative pronoun. What is in here? Who understands this stuff? Whom and whose are other interrogative pronouns? Oh, which is the right one? If you were a pronoun, you could point something out without naming it. You would be a demonstrative pronoun. Please give me those. I'll take these. This isn't it. If you were a pronoun, you could be like a mirror. You could reflect the subject of the sentence back to itself. The subject tells whom or what the sentence is about. I can fix it myself. They will get themselves into a lot of trouble if they eat their textbooks. If you were a pronoun, you could emphasize the subject of the sentence. The principal herself decorated the set for the school play. You would always be working hard as a stand-in if you were a pronoun. And here's some fun with pronouns. This is a good game you could play with your family. Gather some friends and some old newspaper or magazine articles. Give each player a highlighter or a bright crayon. When someone says go, quickly read through your articles marking every pronoun you see. Try doing this for one minute. After one minute, the player with the most pronouns wins. All right, that sounds like a good game. And in the back of this book, we have some text features back here. We have a glossary, which is like a mini dictionary just for this book. We even have an index, so if we want to look up interrogative pronouns, we know we would look on these pages. We even have some suggestions for all these books that are just like if you were a pronoun. We could get those if we wanted. And to learn more, it tells us what we could do 
on the web or at the library. That's pretty cool. All right. I hope you learned something about pronouns, the stand-ins. Sometimes we say they're a noun in disguise. All right. I hope you liked this book, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Josh.